You know, there are a lot of roller coasters that are pretty famous in Brooklyn, but maybe none of them quite as fascinating to watch as this one. And so, Michael Wilbon, let's play a little game here. Okay. Let's fill in the blank. Kyrie Irving is what for the Nets? Problematic. Just as he was problematic for Boston before that and problematic before Cleveland before that. I mean, you know, it is an immense amount of talent that obviously seduces everybody in the league, in the game, in the industry, people who watch closely. But he's not accountable. He's not reliable. We have not seen an increase in those areas which you need to be that prominent a player on a championship level team. Remember, I mean, Le when, when he won one, he was still the second guy and it was LeBron's team. He is much more vested equally to me in this situation, but he's problematic because the, 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 the talent is not matched by the accountability. It's a good word. What's yours, Jay? Kyrie is a must for the Nets. Yeah. And here's why. No Kyrie, no KD. No KD and Kyrie, no Harden. And as long as you see KD go to the podium and he has no problem with Kyrie playing park games, he's going to be okay in Brooklyn. Now, that doesn't mean they keep James Harden in this process after they possibly lose in the playoffs and he doesn't play, but he's a must. He's in a position of power. Steven, what do you think, Stephen A? He's a mess. That's what he is. He's a mess. Um, and the reasons that Jalen just brought up are another reason why he's a mess. Because when you have that kind of impact on a superstar player for the franchise who's willing to accept and capitulate to his wishes because that's his voice, that's problematic when you're trying to build a championship squad. This is not, this is not the guy that just, you know, is out because of the vaccine. He's out for home games. This is a guy that took off weeks after being off for 10 months last year, took off because he was traumatized by the riots not at the, at the not U.S. Capitol at and got apologists like Jay Williams all over the place apologizing for him. Let me tell y'all something right now real quick. You know what I'm going to love if this happens? I'm not going to love it, but it'll make me laugh harder than I laughed at Cowboy fans. <laughs> Let me tell you this right Whoa. now. Could you imagine, <laughs> could you imagine whether it's Milwaukee, Miami, or one of those cities, they got a playoff series against the Brooklyn Nets, and then they decide in this political atmosphere we live in today, let's invoke the mandate and make <laughs> you got to be vaccinated in order to play in this city right before playoff time. We can't listen. The money that the Milwaukee Bucks generated for that city and that state. Could you imagine if somebody did that? It would have shocked me. I'll give you a sense of urgency if that doesn't happen. Say they get bounced in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Right. I don't believe the Nets allow Kyrie to be a part time player next year. So therefore, that would be having him, him this well. year also creates another There's level of urgency. There's a level of urgency, and it revolves around him. Yeah. I, I just I would throw this question back at everybody. Okay. Do we trust him? Hell no. Is that a rhetorical and, and, and Jaylen, question? And Jalen is still right. He's a must. They yes. have to have yeah. him. But yet you can't count on. I'd, him. I'd, I'd give him. I'd give Kyrie. 50 million a year. He's that sensational. He's that box office. I would never, for the rest of his career, I would never give him a long term contract. He cannot be trusted mm. to show up to work. He would get a one year at a time deal. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.